Hello YouTube, this is your Ubuntu here again, and in this video, I'll be telling you why I use Ubuntu 10.04 Lucid Links instead of Windows 7 Ultimate Home or Home Premium or something like that. So the first option would be, or the first reason I should say, is because of the Ubuntu Software Center. And before I get to that, I like to say that Ubuntu comes preloaded with some of the most useful stuff that you will ever find or ever install on a Windows. So um, you do not need Microsoft Office or anything like that. You already have OpenOffice.org pre-installed. You've got a word processor and it runs really fast and is very capable. And um, yeah, lots of preloaded stuff, lots of free preloaded stuff. Everything on here preloaded is free. And you've got a text editor and really, really basic stuff that you use every day on Windows. So there's absolutely no need to go to the internet and download something or pay for something that you need. It is already pre-installed on Ubuntu. Okay, now let's let's get to the Ubuntu Software Center. Now this has lots of free software that you can download. You can download Adobe Reader 9 and everything like that. Um, th there's lots of um, third-party stuff here instead of official programs here. You've also got games, arcade games, and it's just a really, really good um, place to download stuff. And the good thing about this is that most of this is free. You can, you've even got a Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced emulator. And lots of that really, really good stuff that you can use on Windows instead of having to pay for them. Or searching the internet, you've got them all in one place. The Ubuntu Software Center. <coughs> Sorry. So that's my first reason why I wouldn't use Ubuntu. Now the second reason is that Ubuntu system requirements are much much lower. You only need 256 megabytes of RAM compared to <coughs> Windows 32-bit 1 gigabyte or Windows 64-bit 2 gigabytes of RAM. So that's why you can use Ubuntu on old um, PCs, like really old PCs and it's just a really really good um, operating system to run on and um, if you have one, one gigabyte of RAM this thing is gonna fly like it's really fast so yeah that is really really good so even if you have a really old PC you feel it'll probably run Ubuntu um, right off the bat so the other reason why I would use Ubuntu is because of the customization options now um, first of all you can customize you want to pretty much any way you like. First of all, you've got your animations like I just did right now, and um, that is in Compiz Config Settings Manager, which I got from the Ubuntu Software Center. And lots of customization options, lots of stuff here, and it's just overall a really, really good <coughs> place to customize your windows and everything like that. The other one is your theme. It can pretty much it comes preloaded with about eight themes. Let's see. Yep, eight themes, and um, six out of the eight are really good. Like you've got your new wave theme. It does look very polished, very nice. Um, the themes overall are very, very nice, and um, I just think it's overall a really good theme. Uh, really good. Well, not theme, but easy, <coughs> accessible themes. You can also change your desktop background just by right clicking and select change desktop background. You can change your font, which is much more easier than Windows because Windows required me to click so many times you would not believe. And um, you can select your application font, document font, desktop font, window, title font, and fixed width font. You can also change your font rendering, monochrome, best shapes, best contrast, and subpixel smoothing. You can also change your visual effects. It will come preloaded with normal, um, but you can change it to none or extra. So, um, the last reason why I would use Ubuntu is because of the speed. Now, really, this thing flies. I've got 4 gigabytes of RAM on a 32-bit Ubuntu, and this is different because Windows 7 32-bit only detects 3 gigabytes of RAM. So, if you have more than that, too bad, you have to upgrade to the 64-bit version of Windows um, 7. And to prove that I do have 4 gigabytes of RAM, I'll just go to the system monitor. And even though it says 3.9 gigabytes, it is 4 gigabytes of RAM. 
and as you can see it doesn't eat as much memory as um as Windows does. It's only using 320 about megabytes out of 3.9 gigabytes. So that's um yeah, that's pretty less than Windows. Windows was like hogging 50% of my memory. So yeah. Way, way, way less um RAM consumption. So I hope you enjoyed this video. That's the four reasons why I would use Ubuntu. I run them through again. The free software is number one. Number two is the system requirements, you don't need as much RAM. Number three is the customization options, you would not believe there's so much that you can do with Ubuntu with customization. And the fourth and final reason is the speed, it, it just flies on 4 gigabytes of RAM. And if you've got more, then you don't even need that much, unless you're, you can use Ubuntu like pretty much the whole day with like seven programs open in each workspace. Well. Thanks for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, hopefully you all guys will migrate to Ubuntu because believe me, this this operating system is like the best out there. Well, thanks for watching and this is your Ubuntu signing out.